Hello, welcome to the vlog series. Before the video begins, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications as to when a new video will be posted onto this channel. Enjoy! How's it going, everybody? Sean Allen here. Another day, another vlog. Guess what? I am back at Universal Studios Hollywood for more updates. So for this update, we're gonna be looking at what's happening right now in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. In my previous update, we only looked at stuff happening on the upper lot. Yes, Wizarding World is also on the upper lot, but I decided to make it its own separate video. So if you wanna see the stuff that's happening on the upper lot, check out the link in the description box below. But right now, let's head into the Wizarding World. And here we are guys, we are at the very front entrance to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. About to enter Hogsmeade. There's the train. We're about to pass those. Since our last update, it looks amazing. The whole land is full of Christmas decorations. All themed for a specific shop or area. Here's Zonko's, they finished all of that right there, the trick shop. I think the decorations might be slightly different this year. I'm not quite sure. But Honey Dukes, however, I was right about that one because they have candy in the wreaths and the garland. Look at that. It's got like peppermint and lollipops in there. It looks nice. Oh, he poked out his eyeball. There it goes. I will say they did a fantastic job of finishing up all the decorations over here. Hog's head over here, as well as three broomsticks. You also got the Honey Dukes Sweet Shop, Dogweed. Those are all completed. Last time I was here, none of that was up there, but now it is done. I don't think these are real, but check out the size of these pine cones. My goodness, I have seen pine cones bigger than this, but still, those are huge. By the way, if you want to see all the decorations in one whole video, check out my special Wizarding World of Harry Potter decorations video. It's going to be a link in the description box below. Go watch it. I'm putting a lot of work into it. We will be heading into Hogwarts in just a moment, but I'm pleased to announce that right now, by the time of this recording, we are currently running the Magic of Christmas at Hogwarts Castle light show. Happens every night till January 9th. Originally it was supposed to go till January 2nd, but the, guess what? They extended it to January 9th. It's a really fun show. A well, very clear indication if they're gonna have light shows are these black stanchions right here with the chains. That means we're gonna have a light show. There were nights before the light show started where they were asking like, are we gonna have the light shows? Nope. Starting on November 26th, running through January 9th. As you can see, the Triwhisper Rally is officially over for the night. However, the big announcement is that the Frog Choir is back. That's right, they are back in the Wizarding World for the Christmas season. Here's just a small sample of the video that I'll be posting soon. <laughs> so nice to have them back because you know it's been a while since we've had the frog choir because ever since we first reopened they haven't been back and now they are back hopefully that's a good sign though because now that they're back after Christmas they'll stay here for a good long time hopefully we'll see 
All right, it's time to take a quick tour of the castle and see if they have the Christmas decorations up and running in the Gryffindor common room. Yep, they're up in the common room. Now let's take a quick look inside Filch's and see what kind of Christmas stuff they have currently in the shop. Filch's Emporium, the gift shop inside of Forbidden Journey. So these are all the decorations they have currently. It looks like it's pretty much the same as we saw last time. Got the Slytherin and Ravenclaws in this section. Ooh, wait a minute, what's this? This is something different. It's a light up lanyard. Interesting, whoa, even the the cord lights up too. That's interesting. So Hogwarts light up lanyard. Interesting. It's basically a plastic lanyard with a sticker of the Hogwarts crest right there. Interesting. In case you're wondering how much it is, it is. Oh, there's no price tag. Pretty sure if you're going on the ride itself, they'll ask you to turn it off because I've never seen this before, so it'll probably be a distraction. Plus, it, I think this is a loose item, so it's probably gonna have to go in a locker first. Where's the off button on this thing? Oh, here it is. It says a little button. Ooh. Okay, so it changes colors. I didn't know that. So blue for Ravenclaw, green, Slytherin, yellow for Hufflepuff. Nice. Of course, red for Gryffindor. Oh, there it goes. There's Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. Can't forget the Hufflepuffs and Gryffindors. So like in terms of actual Christmas merchandise, that's pretty much all of that right there where you have all the ornaments and ribbons and you know, all that fun stuff. So that's basically where you can find all that. Pretty much everything else in here you can basically give as a gift. But actual Christmas merchandise, it's right there. Uh, what did my eyes see? Why the sorting hat? I have my own ornament. That is so cool. It's got more patches than I thought. <laughs> Looks more cartoony to be honest with you, but still. It's the sorting hat. Just try me on and I will tell you where you want to be. Well guys, my camera is almost full of video footage, so I think it's time for me to head into the three broomsticks and download my footage onto my computer, which I do have with me right now. And of course, while I'm here, I'm gonna grab something quick. And you know what? I was thinking of getting a butterbeer first, but I'm gonna get something I haven't had in a long time, not since it first came out. I actually did a whole video about it. I'm hoping they still have it. If they do, I would be really excited about it because it's fishy green ale. I thought it was an interesting drink. I hope they have it. All right, let's see here. There are the beers, there's the drinks. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Aha, there it is. Found it. Yes. Awesome, thank you. Going to my usual spot right over here, underneath the hippogriff. Boy, I gotta be really careful, it's like right there at the edge. They really fill this up. There we go. All right, once again, fishy green ale. I've had this for, what, two years? I think so. It's non-alcoholic, by the way. Down below there, the fish eggs. It's actually bulbas, blueberry bulbas, if I remember correctly. All right, first drink. Oh, forgot. <laughs> there go the bulbas. <laughs> wow, it's actually a lot sweeter than it used to be. Usually, like last couple of times I had this. It was really like, I wouldn't say bitter, but it was definitely had a lot of cinnamon in it. It's actually, actually very sweet right now. Wow. It's still that murky green liquid, but there's hardly any like spice in it. Honestly, I like it this way. That's a huge improvement. Wow. Well 
guys, I'm about to download my footage and oh, there's little tiny cat. I miss you, buddy. Still can't believe it, but on November 20th, two years ago, we lost him. Such a sweet kitty. Miss you, Simon. And that's your update, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. In scene, as they say in Hollywood, I am in Hollywood, Universal Studios Hollywood, in fact. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications as to when a new video will be posted onto this channel. To see more, check out my other channels, the Educational Series, the Design Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. To stay connected, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Once again, thanks for watching.